Welcome to the Daily Jerry Anderson podcast, which begins today with the presenter having to deal with a hostile staff and faulty machinery, just like every other day. Thank you, Mr. Coyle, for sitting in the hot seat yesterday. Uh, uh, you were your you. usual horrible self this morning when I came in. Wouldn't tell me anything about what was going on. You never asked me. I did. You, you did not. I, I got nothing but a torrent of abuse. No, you were... I got a torrent of abuse. Excuse me. You were just jealous because I was away being a rock star at the Excuse weekend. Excuse me. I got a torrent of abuse. Seven, That's four, what I got, a torrent four, of abuse. Eight. I know what a torrent of abuse is. When I hear a torrent of abuse, I say what it is. I got a torrent of abuse. I came in here this morning. I was very friendly. And you had that snarl in your face. You were angry. You hated me. And everything I said, you mocked me. You and Janet joined in and mocked me and made me feel small. Because you're jealous of me, because I was away in Paris the weekend with rock stars, and you're in the Derry City Club. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. And there's nothing wrong with the Derry City oh, Club. No, but it's no, not no, the no, same no, as Paris. No, 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 no. no ask no. him where I was in. Ask him. Ask me where I was the weekend. Show a little curiosity. Go no. and tell me. No, because ask when me, I come me. in, when I came into the office this morning, you yes. were sitting and you were saying naughty words to your computer. That's because they wiped everything. I was away for four days and they wiped everything off my computer. And you were very, very angry. And you were, you were. And and you called one of the girls over to try and help you. Then you had to go in and get a man, an IT man, and he was helping you. And there were three people surrounding you one time, and you were sitting there, and you were, oh, you were an angry little man. I was away for four days. I had 300 emails, and I couldn't read any of them. Yes, and and then and then you left the room. You left the room, and you come back. And you spotted me reading a newspaper, and you demanded to know where I got that that paper. Where did you get that paper? It was my newspaper. Ah, you see, and you were very, you were very. I hid it when I came uh, in. As they say in America, you're very hostile. Is it hostile? They hostile. Say? Hostile. You were very hostile. It's what's called uh, 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 teenage anger is called youth hostile. Yeah. <laughs> The presenter spent the weekend in Paris with rock stars. It's not good for him. It revives old memories that should remain dormant. He is very worryingly excited. Do you know French people aren't the same as us? I didn't see one fat person. And they're all, they all wear lovely clothes. No, we all look as if we, we've been dressed by Oxfam. But they were, all, they were all lovely and all the girls and they were all around the band. And I was hanging around the outskirts, you know, get the ones that were weak, you know, the ones that were injured. But it was then, then back to the hotel later and all the people and all the, the rock star thing. And I went, this is the world that I used to be in. I was so happy. I remember saying to myself, I was so happy. Why did I not know I was so happy? Why did I leave all that? The reason why I left, because I got a bit older. But I said, this is the world that came back to me. And I said, this used to be me. He said, fella, stand up at the bar with those five girls hanging on to him, trying to buy him drink and all, saying, come with me, come with me. That used to be me. So I went over and I stood there at the bar and nobody talked to me. The one girl talked to me. She was, she wasn't ugly. <laughs> she was absolutely one. She would, I was the only one who would talk back to her. Anyway, no. Anyway, apart from that, see me making fun of it now. But it was a great experience, and thank you for your interest. Thank you for asking me where I was. Did you have any uh, anything exciting happen yesterday at all? Morris is on one. <laughs> That's the answer to that. Hello, good morning, Morris. <laughs> Jerry, good morning. Not that you're uh, exciting, Morris. It's just that you know. He'd, yeah, well, what can I we do for you today? That- that, that's a that's a grand story of yeah. of times gone by. Jerry. Yes, indeed. By. You know, I didn't realise I was happy. You know, and I didn't. I didn't know I was happy because you know what I thought at that time. I thought to myself, I'm wasting my life here, because I was like thirty, thirty one, thirty two, and I was doing that. And I said to myself, I'm wasting my life here. I better do something constructive. What a fool I was, because I ended up doing this. Well, look at the education you got. I know, but I could have got an education if I had got a book and read it in bed that night. Uh, no. Well, no. if I had if I had a choice, and I'm going to tell you this now, I stopped rock and roll and I went to university, right? Because and the only reason I went to university because I thought it was probably a good idea to go to university. But as soon as I got to university, I really realized it was a mistake because nearly all the people that I met at university were stupider than the people I knew before I went to university. And all I discovered was the only people who go to university are people who are good at one particular thing, and even then, not all that good. And they shouldn't Skaven. be there anyway. Skaven is right. And I was so miserable at university. The only thing that cheered me up was the actual library. I refused to study what I was supposed to study. I just wanted to go to university to spend three years just reading and getting a grant. You used to get a grant then. They used to give you money to do that. So I used to treat it like a nine-to-five job. I never told you this before. This is interesting, Sean, isn't it? What's that? Thank you for attention, Sean. So I used to go in there in the library at 9 o'clock and I used to stay until 5 o'clock and I used to go into the lectures. There were about two lectures a day, maybe two hours. And for those two hours I went and I made notes and I just put them away. And then I went in the library and I used to go around the shelves and I'd just pick any book at all. I'd read any book every day. I'd, read, I'd pick a book and I'd read that when I finished that I'd go around 
I just randomly and just pick. And I spent three years doing that. The best thing I ever did in my life. I did nothing that I, that I was supposed to do at all. And all the people who did what they were supposed to do, they're all civil servants now, and they're all marching for their pensions. And here, <laughs> and here am I. Look at look at look at happened to me. There are few people in the province these days knitting sweaters for poultry. More of this should be done. Down with feathers. See what I did there? Down with feathers. If you want to knit a jumper for a hen, and I've never said that before, if you want to knit a jumper for a hen, uh, you can uh, contact the people about various specifications and what size they need to be. There's medium, there's medium, oh, small, yeah. and. Is that large? <laughs> no, medium, small, and. <laughs> what was that? Is there no big boys? <laughs> That's the rooster. They don't need a jumper. I sp- we don't want your stinking jumpers. Where's the rooster? <laughs> we don't want your stinking jumpers. Medium. Small and... <laughs> what size of a needle would you use? Do you remember... Do, do you, well, this is why... You do you need remember to... your mother had various sizes of needles and there was a wee number on the top of the of the knitting needle? Do you remember that? Yes. And she would look for a, a number eight and... and would it yes, be yes, I do remember that, yes. 12. Yes, I thank you for bringing that up. It's an interesting topic. Do you ever sit on the end of your mother's sewing machine? I don't think my mother had a son. Ah, oh, you see. There you are, you see. We were poor. My mother sold by hand. Hand sold? Yes. She hadn't got a sewing machine. No, we were poor. Do you know what I have in my home? These were swanks. You know, I know. We weren't swanks. You had a sewing machine. I know. We were it's swanks. all right. Can I tell you something? I've never told you this before. Go on. About the top of my mother's sewing machine? Yeah, the imprint of your bums on it. Like you ruin everything. She told me a hundred times. Did I? Yeah. I couldn't remember. I have that at my home, you know. I know. That's, that, that it's in my nice. hallway, and every once in a while I just run my hand across it. Must be nice. The next time I'm down, could you open the door wide enough so I could see it? No, I'll take, the door? A photo- I'll take a photograph of yeah. it and show it to you, because you're not going into my house. Oh, I know that. It's quiz time. The presenter poses a question that should result in our heads drooping in shame. What's the two things you don't have in Paris? Ulster bus. Yes. And Windsor Park. Garbahi Road. What? Oh, you missed that. Right. No fat people. So you keep saying. There's no fat people in Paris. I looked. For the first day I was there, I said to myself, look, there's no fat people here. There must be there somewhere. So I, do you know what I did? Mm-hmm. I was walking down one of the streets, and mm-hmm. I saw a rare sight. There's very few McDonald's, very few fast food places in Paris. But there are a couple, you know. And I saw a McDonald's. I said, if there's going to be fat people, they'll be in there. I looked in, there was nobody in it. One person in it. And do you know we're here, you can't get in with the crowds? Nobody in it. And there's no, no fat people in Paris. Do you know why? Because they eat real food. And that's, one, that's the reason. And do you know another thing? Do you see the gig that I was at mm-hmm. on the Sunday night? Mm-hmm. No drink. No drink, that's right. Nobody, right. nobody, nobody. No, but I, I don't mean no drink available. I don't mean that. Nobody was drinking. They'd buy a bottle of beer and they'd sit there and that would do them all night. Nobody getting followed. No, no, the usual in the concert. You don't go to this. Anyone who's been to a concert in Ireland knows what it's like. Boys puking all over you. Boys getting in and out five times during a number because they have to go to the toilet. Men with eight pints in plastic glasses trying to carry them all the one time and spill them all over the top yeah. of you. Boys shouting. <laughs> Fellas going to sleep and all puking, all that stuff. None of that. Where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? What happened to this country? It's because we abuse alcohol. Simple as that. we all fat as well. We're all fat as well. We're all, we're not, we're not, we we're can't not. get into McDonald's. With the, you have to, we're you getting have to fatter, beat your way but we're not fat. We're getting fatter. Yeah, we're not fat? Have no, you be, I wouldn't this, say... You should go out more. When, uh, you don't go out, do you? No, I would say the people in Northern Ireland are getting fatter, but I wouldn't describe us as fat people. Oh, they're getting fatter. You look at any photograph. Now, this is nothing against fat people, of which Nolan is one. You look at any photograph, uh, say, for instance, a uh, school photograph, uh-huh. right? And you remember the school photographs that you yes, were in. Yes, Now, can you remember any school photographs that you were in? You can't compare that. But no, no. Uh, many fat people were, many people were overweight in your school photograph. None. Right. You look at the average one now, about maybe 30%. Are overweight children. Yeah, it's a big yeah. problem. Yeah. But you see, you only realise when you go elsewhere and you realise that people are eating real food. And that's, what's, that's why we're so fat, because we're all eating but crap. But a lot of people are forced to eat that type of food because, you know, poverty and not, no, no and How, how, and how like hard that. is it to buy a couple of potatoes? And oh, buy, I listen to you know? her in there now. Oh, her yeah. in there? Uh, you're going to lecture to us now. There's, you, a, lot of, there's a lot of anger there, there's Sean. A, I lecture us now. There's a lot of anger. The presenter has been keeping stories from Interrupt Us, and rightly so. Why cast peril before swine? Was that insulting enough? Maybe I could go stronger. 
Apparently there's another story has emerged. What kind of story? Another story that you won't tell. There are many stories that I can't tell. No, but you know where you've got your Elvis story? The city is a wonderful thing at night. Right, there's the Elvis story, and then there's the story of the girl... The Chinese waiter story. The Chinese waiter story, and then there's the one... Uh, is, it, is, it, um, <laughs> is it Rita Coolidge? No, I think I've told that. No, the one with the girl in the fridge. Stop. No. The girl in the fridge? No, the girl. I don't know anything yes. about that. Yes, we... Well, you... Uh-huh. The girl in the fridge? No, not in the fridge. The girl at the fridge, late at night. Oh, yes. You know, that's... Oh, uh, that's a story, yeah? Yes, that's a story. Oh. Right, okay. Trying but to appa- keep yourself cool. Yeah, but apparently, yes. Uh, apparently now, there's another story. Uh-huh. A man just was on the phone there now. Yes. And uh, he said to me, he said, uh, why won't Jerry tell the... And he told me the name of the person involved. Okay. And he it... says, I was there. I'm a witness. Does the so, name ring a bell to you? Right. Okay. Okay. You know, I need clues for this. Oh, yes. No, this is... Yes. Yes, this is... Yes. Go I on. see you warming to the task. It means I, it's very bad for no, me. No, I don't know what the story is, you Anything see. that you warm to means it's bad for me. No, I, 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 it's, it's intriguing. I want to know. Okay, this, come on. This, this, I can't understand. This is great. All right, go ahead. The fact that it's this person, mm-hmm. and there's a story that you won't tell. Is but I pers- have a witness. Is this person... I have a witness! Yes. No, is, is this person, mind, the person... Is this person a well-known person? Yes. Is this person known to the listeners? Yes. Well, I see no reason why he, can't be, he or she can't be named. Now, can I tell you this? Yes. Can I tell you this now? This person, sadly, is no longer with us. Oh, dear, okay. No, but it's all right. Mm-hmm. You know, no, no, it's okay. We can talk about this person. This is a, a posthumous story. Mm-hmm. All right, who's the person who's no longer with us? No, you, you have to guess. I have to guess? Who's you, no longer with us? Yes, no, it's your story. You the entire population of Ireland be, uh, was on, born now. in 1850. Apparently, it happened... In the Europa Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on. Uh, and the person is no longer with us because of what happened. No, 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 no. The person no longer with us. Yes. Oh, right. well, that, I told us. Now, let me see. Uh, I have told stories uh, right. about the Europa Hotel. And I mentioned so. Uh, um, this man just mentioned it and then he hung up. And uh-huh. it says, but I am a witness and I'm prepared to come forward. Is it the late uh, broadcaster Tony McCauley? No, no, no. Bigger than? Uh huh. Liam Nealon? Liam uh, uh, Clancy? No, I would say. Could bigger? Be, could, could, could be bigger. No, I don't know. I don't know. But could be bigger. Is this yeah. man from the island of Ireland? No. Ah. Is this man from the broader, bigger island that is called the mainland? Yes. Uh huh. Is this man from the English part of yes. it? Yes. This man is an English person. Yes. This man is now dead. Yes. This man, did this man appear on television with me at any stage when I was that's, a TV star? That's what I don't know. I don't ah, you should know, know that. I don't think so. I see, I need I the answer to that. I you don't, don't think, think so. so. I don't think so. So we can rule out all the famous people that I know through proxy. Right. So this is a famous man who, did this man know me before I was famous no. myself? Oh, no, this man wouldn't. I, I mean, I, I, I'm wouldn't. not being hit for, this man wouldn't know you. Wouldn't know me. Well, no. why did he ring up and tell you about me when he doesn't know me? No, no. The man who rang up knows you. He the can't ring up because he's dead. Yeah, the man who... and doesn't have a phone. No. <laughs> All right then. So the person who rang up was told something about this famous. person. No, he was there. He witnessed this. This. this... And this famous person was there. Y- y- and you were there. And then, then this, this. Uh, oh, this... hold on a minute. I'm with this famous person, and this other person is yes, there. Yes. And the, fa- the famous person doesn't know me. I'm with a person who doesn't know me. I don't know why you were there. No, I don't know. <laughs> I think you need to tell us. No, no, come more. on, ask one question. Go on, ask, okay, ask I'm with proper. a famous person. Right. The famous person doesn't know me. What does the famous person do? I obviously know the famous person. Oh, you know the famous person. Right, and the other person is present when I'm with the famous person who doesn't yes. know me. Because this person was an employee of the hotel. In the Europa Hotel? Yes. And I did so. Oh, David Soul. No. Is oh, he dead? There's a... No. He just <laughs> smells funny. Uh, no, I, I just can't understand. Well, there was a story about David Soul. No, no, move on. No, no, Jimmy no, no, Nesbitt? No, no, no. Jimmy bad. Nesbitt's not dead. He's in Australia. Well, that's the same thing. Right. Let's um, see. Dead, dead. What does girl. he do? Okay. Is he a singer? No. Actor? No. Comedian? No. <laughs> what else is there? Shh. Uh, my artist? No. Marcel Marceau? No. I had a great chat with him, but he never said anything back. Right. That's. <laughs> Right. It's a joke. Oh, Give it's some sense right. of humour. It's all right. No, this Come must on. be good because you're really I, I, you're, you're I, going to this like a terrier. Yes, you love it. I want to know what, I know what, you what happened. You have to tell me who the person is. No, come on now. What does he do? What I don't know he, what he does. He's, he do? like, he's in show. Is he in show business? No. He's a famous person that's not in show business. Yes, yes. Well, how do you be a famous person and not be in show business? Well, it's not show business. What, is he David Attenborough or oh, somebody? Come on, what? No, no. Is he, he sitting no. beside a bear that wasn't no, alive? No, no. A dead bear pretending it was living. Come on. What? What else is it? What else is there? What else is there? Come on. There's life. 
Well, yes, what sort Is of? Is he a writer? No. Author? Come on, no, 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 no. Um, not, not dog to, trainer? Nothing to do with. Uh, come on. Welder? No. no, no. Dog trainer? Come on, come on. Come dog on. trainer? Come on. Um, uh, uh, widen it, widen it out. Greyhound trainer? No, wider, trainer? wider, 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 wider. So what, what are we talking here now? We're talking about animal a, trainer. No, we're talking about a uh, a zoo, zookeeper. No, no, we're talking about a, a circus owner. No, no, we're talking about a a a a. a Come on, four letter word. There, four letter word. Oh, I, I can think of one. I can think of one. It applies to you now, and it starts with that. Anyway, go right. ahead. Come on. What, you just what, tell me what what is what is dog racing? It's a sport. Yes, it's a sport man. It's a sports right. man. Yes, he was a dog racer. Yes, no. Nothing to do with dogs. Greyhound owner. No, nothing to do with dogs. Jockey. No. Uh, a boxer. No. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. Come on. Why don't you just tell me who ah, it is? Emma's got it. I'm, I'm sure she has, but <laughs> that's neither here. Let's keep her personal life out of this. Um, <laughs> I used to have it too, but maybe she could give me a bit of hers. Anyway. Um, um, <laughs> a, wrestler, a wrestler? No. Oh, come on, tell Popular. me. Popular. Popular. He says a footballer. Yes. That took a time. But not a footballer. A footballer, but not a footballer. A yeah. retired footballer. No. A dead footballer. No. A footballer with no boots. Bigger but, than. Uh, but bigger than. A uh, manager. Yes. Alec Ferguson. No. He's dead. Is he not? Uh, Ian Paisley. No. No, what do you call the other uh, I know who you're No, no. D- 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 George Best. No. Manager. <laughs> Brian Clough. No, international. Uh, Harry Gregg. No, international. <sighs> you have to tell me, Brian Robson. What have you got? You have an international. Walter Waltonbottom. Right, uh, come on. All right. Uh, yes, you're on the right line. Alf Ramsey. Yes. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Alf Ramsey. You and Sir Alf Ramsey. <laughs> what were you at in the Europa Hotel? <laughs> <laughs> what were you at? Thank you for listening. Back tomorrow.